weirdo. Well, then I'll be a weirdo because I preach Jesus Christ and not Satan Claus. Okay, unfortunately, um, I couldn't get the bullhorn to work. I don't know what's going on with it. I got brand new batteries, put brand new batteries in it, and it just won't turn on. So I didn't fiddle with it all I could. So I'm gonna raw jaw it. Uh, not, there's a whole lot of people right there, and I got a pretty loud voice. So uh, I'm just gonna let it fly. I got this spot right here because it's, it's a little bit elevated, and um, uh, hopefully my voice will bounce off these buildings here. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> He sees three preacher out here today to preach against the false Christmas and to preach the true Christmas. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you for telling your kids about Satan Claus. Shame on you. Christmas is about Jesus Christ. Don't tell them about a fat man in a red suit with elves and magical reindeer. All reindeer are for eating. Tell them about a man that walked this earth 2,000 years ago. Tell them about him. Died for their sin. Rose again on the third day. Tell your kids about them and stop lying to your kids. Stop lying. Don't read them twas the night before Christmas. Read them Luke chapter 2. Christmas is about Jesus Christ and not Satan Claus. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you for lying to your kids. I bet you tell them about the Easter Bunny. I bet you tell them about the Tooth Fairy. Shame on you. It's your parents, kids. You give that note of what you want for Christmas to your parents. It's your parents. And shame on you parents for lying to your kids stop telling them about satan claus christmas is about jesus christ it's all about jesus not fat men in red suits not magical reindeer not elves Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. That's the problem with this world. Not enough Jesus. And too much of these fakes. Like Satan Claus. There actually was a Saint Nicholas. He didn't go around in a red suit. And a slave while with reindeer. There actually was a Saint Nicholas. Why don't you tell your kids about the real St. Nicholas? But no, we all love, we all love to tell our kids about Santa. We all love to say, oh, you better be good. You better be good. Our Santa's gonna leave you some coal. We love to tell them that. Why don't you tell them about a God that's always watching. God's always watching. He beholds the evil and the good. Tell your kids about that. Stop telling your kids that Satan Claus has a naughty and nice list. If you're on that naughty list, you're getting cold. If you're on that nice list, you get presents. Tell them about the book of life. If you're in the book of life, according to the Bible, you get in. You get into heaven. But your name can be blotted out. Your name can be blotted out of the book of life. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. You're going to lie to your kids now. What's, the, what's, what's, what's telling them they're going to believe anything later? Tell them lies now, they're gonna say, hey, what, what's true? What's true?
My parents told me this. My parents told me that. They're going to know the truth one day. They're going to know there isn't a Satan clause. They're going to know that. Shame on you, parents. Christmas is all about Jesus Christ. Born of a virgin. A miracle. But we want them to believe in magic reindeer. We want them to believe in little tiny elves that make toys. Tell them about Santa Claus. That's what we want to do. Shame on you, parents. Stop lying to your kids. That's the ninth commandment. Do not bear false witness. You're lying to your kids. You set up that idol of Satan Claus in your house. Your eyes should be toward Jesus Christ. We should celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. We tell our time about the Je about Jesus Christ. What's this year? This year is 2021 AD. AD. And in the past we got BC. What event marked that? When we went from B.C. to A.D., what event marked that? The birth of Jesus Christ. Not Santa Claus, Satan Claus. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. Shame on you. You're going to get with them on Christmas Eve and read them twice the night before Christmas. Read for them Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Read to them your Bible. You know that book that's gathering dust on your shelf? Read the Bible to your kids. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. Tell them about Santa Claus. Tell them about the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. How are they going to believe you when they grow up? How are they going to believe you when they grow up? They're going to say to themselves, well, my parents lied to me about Santa Claus. They lied to me about the Easter Bunny. They lied to me about the Tooth Fairy. What else have they lied to me about? Shame on you, parents. You're supposed to raise your children right. Raise your children right. Raise your children by the Bible. Not some myth, not some fairy tale. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. I think you've been drinking too much of that eggnog. Way too much. You can't think straight. You're going to sit there and tell your kids, well, you better be good, or Satan Claus is not going to bring you any presents. Tell them about the God that beholds the evil and the good. Talking about the God that's always watching them. So, what kind of gifts does Jesus Christ bring? What kind of gifts does Jesus Christ bring? I'll tell you what salvation! Salvation! That's the greatest gift there is. That means you're not going to hell. Heaven or hell when you die. You believe in Santa Claus? You're going to hell. You believe in Jesus Christ? You're going to heaven. Make your choice. Make your choice. There's no room for both of them. There's no room for both of them. Santa Claus is your God. Santa Claus is the way you control your children. Santa Claus. My gloves on. It's cold out here. Especially with that wind. It suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. 
telling them about Santa Claus. Shame on you. Bet you tell them about the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, lying to your kids. Lying to your kids. Lead them straight to hell. Lying. Lying. Shame on you. A bunch of liars, all of you. A bunch of liars. There is no Santa Claus. It's a fairy tale. It's your parents, kids. It's your parents. You give them your list. Little elves don't make them. Little elves don't make toys at the North Pole. I don't think there's any land on the North Pole. So you know what? Santa's got a workshop floating on the ocean. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. Stop telling about Santa Claus. You need to go home, put your kids down, and apologize for lying to them. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Christmas is about Jesus Christ. It's not Santamus. It's Christmas. Celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Read Luke chapter 2 to your kids. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. We got Christmas trees with Santa Claus on them. Rudolph. Little elves. How many of y'all got the elf on the shelf? Might as well be pagan shrines. Go ahead and worship your God of Santa Claus. I'd rather worship the God of the Bible. I'd rather celebrate the birth of my Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what I'd rather celebrate. Not some fairy tale. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. All liars will have their place in the lake of fire. I hope you repent before you die. I hope you ask for your kids' forgiveness. I hope you do. I hate it when people go to hell. Marching them straight to hell. Marching them straight to hell. The true meaning of Christmas is Jesus Christ. That is the true meaning of Christmas. It's not a guy in a red suit. So you're telling me he's going to fit a million, millions of toys in his sleigh. And he's going to visit millions of kids all in one night. How many of y'all going to get on that NORAD website Christmas Eve? Say, look, Santa's here. Santa's there. It's a fairy tale. Why don't you put the Bible on your iPad? Read to your children Luke chapter 2 and not tell them about fairy tales. Shame on you, parents. Bunch of filthy liars, all of you. Lying to your kids. Should be child abuse. You're nothing but abusing your children. Lead them straight into the hellfire. They're going to get older, parents. They're going to get older. When they figure out there's no Santa Claus, they're going to say, what else have my parents lied to me about? Did they lie to me about drugs? Did they lie to me about sex, fornication? <clears throat> Oh, who am I kidding? You probably smoke pot too. Probably smoke pot. Probably tell your kids it's okay to change genders. The Bible's very clear about that. God made them male and female. Period. You either have a Y chromosome or you don't. Two genders, people. 
wonder we got a generation headed to hellfire. No wonder. You tell them fairy tales. You tell them about Santa Claus. You tell them about the Easter Bunny. You tell them about the Tooth Fairy. You tell them it's okay to change genders. It's okay to be gay. All of it is from the devil. From the devil. Heaven or hell when you die. Heaven or hell when you die. Read your Bible. Stop lying to your kids. Stop lying. Remember the true meaning of Christmas. True meaning of Christmas. The birth of Jesus Christ. That is the true meaning of Christmas. No room for Santa Claus and Jesus Christ. No room. You either love one and hate the other, or you hate one and love the other. You love Santa Claus, you hate Jesus Christ. You love Santa Claus, you hate Jesus Christ. What harmony has light with darkness? The Bible asks. What harmony has light with darkness? There's no Santa Claus. It's just your parents, kids. Shame on you parents for lying to your kids. No Santa Claus. No Easter Bunny. No Tooth Fairy. There is no Satan Claus. Shame on you parents. Shame on you. Lying to your kids. I hope you repent. Because all liars will find their place in the lake of fire. lying to your kids stop lying stop lying true me in the Christmas is Jesus Christ that's the true me in the Christmas Jesus Christ no Santa Claus stop lying to your kids stop lying to your kids shame on you parents shame on you stop lying Christmas is about Jesus Christ. It's not Santamus, it's Christmas. It's about Jesus Christ. It's about the birth of the Savior of the world. Not a fat man in a red suit with elves and magical reindeer. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. Stop lying to your kids. There's no Santa Claus, kids. It's your parents. They're lying to you. And all liars will have their place in hellfire. Repent. Repent of your lying. Repent. Repent. It's wicked. It should be called child abusers. Lying to your kids like that. Repent! Christmas! Christmas is about Jesus Christ! The birth of your Savior! The birth of your Savior! It's not about Santa Claus! I like to call him Satan Claus! Christmas! is about Jesus Christ. 
not Satan calls. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you for lying to your kids. You need to repent. All liars will have their place in the lake of fire. Shame on you. You want to read them twice the night before Christmas? Why don't you read Luke chapter 2? The true meaning. Why? Because I'm not wicked. That's why. Shame on you, parents. Stop lying to your kids. Stop lying. No Santa Claus kids. It's your parents. You give them the list of toys you want. Weirdo. Well, then I'll be a weirdo. Because I preach Jesus Christ and not Satan Claus. I'll be a weirdo then. It's a shame that I have to be called a weirdo. That's a shame right there. You should all be celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. You should be reading your kids the Bible, not twas the night before Christmas.